Hello there my music lovers and children of the heaven and today we are having a look at the Cindy Audio Apollo. As my batteries are running out, this is the last video I filmed today. I filmed quite a few videos in a single day, but it is not the least important video I filmed today. This is a headphone with a huge planar magnetic driver, 68 millimeters in diameter, and they have a price tag of about 500 US dollars. So let's get down with the unboxing. As you could see, the Sandy Audio Apollo is sent from Sivguy and they're the same company, managed by the same people. And the Apollo is a beautiful headphone. As you can see, it comes in a very maroon cardboard box. This is a very brown package, very simple package, but I appreciate that because it doesn't have a ton of marketing on it. The headphones comes in those suspect carrying case. And this carrying case is actually made of leather or something. It has an odd smell to it, like it is leather. It is zipper protected from them falling out and it offers them quite a lot of protection. It is very hard and very resistant. We have the headphones here and the cables. The headphones are absolutely beautiful. Just look at the Cindy Audio Apollo. This is how a very beautiful headphone looks like. Just what is this? How did they make them so beautiful? The metallic parts combine so well with this wooden part, which is lacquered and then the headband. The cables of the Sandy Audio Apollo are interesting. They come with one cable, which has a 4.4 millimeter balanced connector to two 2.5 millimeter connectors at the headphone side. And they come with an adapter from 4.4 to 3.5 millimeters. The comfort of the Sandy Audio Apollo is superb. This is probably the most comfortable headphone as far as the ear pads go that I have tested to date. As you can see, the ear pads are ridiculously large and ridiculously Thick. This is such a soft, thick and large ear pad. How do they even do this? So nice. Placing them on my head, I can feel the comfort is just as good as you'd expect. It is absolutely comfortable, like so nice. They are softer than my pillow. The pillow I sleep on is much harder than this. So soft and so nice. As you can see, they're beautiful even while being worn. Before the sound, I should tell you that they isolate a bit from the outside noise about five to seven decibels of passive noise isolation. And they don't leak quite as much as other headphones because they are semi-open in design. So this is not a fully open. You don't really see the driver. They are semi-open having this, this metallic texture here that doesn't really leak absolutely everything, but they leak quite a lot. They are an open back headphone. They swivel in every direction. I saw some complaints with the original Sandy or Sivga Audio headphone, the CV021, which didn't swivel laterally and some people find some discomfort with them. So I should mention that the Apollo does, like it has a little swivel mechanism here. They swivel laterally in every direction possible. So they will be comfortable for every head size and shape. The headband has thick padding here. It is very soft, just like the ear pads and they are comfortable to wear for many hours in a row. I have used them for really long periods of time. The sound of the Apollo, absolutely beautiful. It seems like the company Sivga Audio has a mid-centric sound. Because now that I think about it, both their Phoenix, their Peacock and every single other headphone has some mid-range forwardness in them. And this is the same with Apollo, but Apollo is creamy butter smooth. And you probably will think that I went insane for using those words, but this is how they sound. They are so buttery, so smooth, so clean and so just enjoyable, just so musical. The Apollo has a softer type of bass and impact, so they don't really have a lot of bass and the bass is not very thumpy, but the bass does extend as low as 20 Hertz. You just don't really hear that extension as loud as with other headphones, especially bass head headphones. The bass presentation of the Apollo is softer. It is a very smooth and very enjoyable type of presentation, but it doesn't really bring a ton of impact and a ton of punchiness with it. It is more soft and more nuanced. They have a ton of nuance and a ton of information in the bass, but not really that punchiness and impact that you typically expect from bass. The mid-range is forward. It has an extreme smoothness to them. Like they are so smooth, like everything is just so fluid and so effortless. Everything just blends so nicely together. It, it is absolutely amazing how they sound. They are enjoyable with pretty much every single type of music. They will make everything relaxing. Every single type of music will sound enjoyable, will sound smooth and will sound just pleasing to them. They are just pleasing with everything I try them with. The treble of the Apollo is also smooth, also enjoyable and also very fluid. They have this wet kind of character, which is not dry, so they don't really feel like pasty. They really feel fluid. They really feel battery fluid. Like they feel like 
sitting in a bag of feathers and the music sounds feathery, the, everything just feels feathery. They're like just a dreamy kind of headphone. They will be very enjoyable to you if you even tried and enjoyed the Night Hawk and the Night Owl headphones from Audio Quest. They will be enjoyable to you if you enjoy smooth and effortless sounds and if you like a relaxing type of sound. They are so relaxed. When pairing them with sources, I discovered that they need quite a bit of power to get loud and quite a bit of power to sound good. I have mainly used the Astelecan SA180 because I had it on my desk and I used it for most headphones and DMs reviews and it is able to drive them very well at about 110 out of 150 in volume. So they eat quite a bit of power. With low power sources, you might be unable to drive them properly. For example, if you have BTR5 Mark II, you may feel that they are underwhelming. While something like Ibezo DX160 will be more than enough for the Sandy Audio Apollo. Comparing the Sandy Audio Apollo is quite fun because they are much smoother, much softer actually, but much more refined and they have better resolution than Bear Dynamica Myron, for example, which I did review a long while ago. They're also better and more detailed and have better resolution than the Sandy Audio P2 headphones, which are a pair of headphones I reviewed in the past and I really enjoyed them, but the new Apollo actually does everything the P2 tried to do, but better. They are more fluid, they have better resolution, but they have a softer impact than the P2. The P2 had a much more thumpy impact. It, it, the P2 had a really strong sound. Well, the Apollo doesn't do that. The Apollo tries to go for a really enjoyable type of presentation, really smooth and really, really coherent. Everything just has a magical coherency to it. You, you can't really imagine how smooth and fluid they are until you hear them. It's just that mind-blowing. The soundstage of the Apollo is natural in size. They don't really surprise me with the soundstage width or the soundstage depth or anything, but they are enjoyable there too. Like this, the soundstage is not concentrated in one location and the interesting part about the soundstage is that they have excellent instrument separation and excellent stereo imaging, so they separate things very well from each ear. You can listen to Iron Maiden and older music and be very happy with it. You can listen to pretty much every single thing you can imagine. That is the beauty of the Apollo. They are just enjoyable with pretty much everything like everything will sound enjoyable through them. They are even better than Sennheiser HD 650 and H and Sennheiser HD 600. They are much more fluid than both models. They have better resolution and better detail than both models, but at the same time they like the impact that the HD 600 has even though the HD the HD600 doesn't have a lot of impact, they still have lower impact. So if you're looking for a thumpy or a more impactful bass, the Sivga P2 provides that better. But if you are looking for the ultimate smoothness, ultimate refinement and ultimate overall coherency in sound, then the Sandy Audio Apollo would be a better option. Also, the build quality is outrageously good. Like, how can you make a headphone like this? I want other companies to take example. I want them to make headphones so good. Like this should be the build quality at 500 US dollars. You are paying, I don't know, you can get a car for 1000 US dollars. So at half of a car, I want at least this build quality. It should be like this. I really do hope that my videos are enjoyable to watch. I do hope that they are informative. I do hope that my videos contain a ton of stuff that you are looking for. And if not, leave a comment and tell me what else to include in my videos. I do hope that you'll consider leaving a like on Audiophile Heaven's video on my video. Actually, I am my Audiophile Heaven and I'm together with my girlfriend. But anyways, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Audiophile Heaven for more awesome content, for more excellent videos on audio products. And I hope you'll use the Amazon purchase links in the video description if you decide to purchase a pair of Apollo headphones. It would help me win a dime and it would help you get the best price you could at this moment. I thank you for watching and don't forget you are the stars for being here with me today and I hope you have the loveliest of weeks out there. Bye bye!